Hey guys, so this is the second part of this uh, little video series for the pre-Columbian sculptures. I have taken the liberty of uh, creating a second bowl that matches uh, the first one. Um, it's really important that you try to make them about the same um, size, or at least like the openings should be about the same uh, shape and size. Uh, so that way when we put them together, um, there is as much clay in contact with one another. Um, so that way it stays together uh, throughout the um, rest of the process. So um, if you find that uh, one or both of your pieces have a little bit of like a roller coaster of a, of a top edge here, um, what you want to do is take your fettling knife and basically uh, cut any of those like high spots down. So that way, um, you know, you, you don't really want to see too much daylight, so to speak, um, uh, between the two pieces when they're meeting up. Also, if there are, if one is just slightly larger than the other, uh, what I like to do is take the piece that has uh, maybe a, a smaller opening, which is uh, this one, it's just slightly smaller. You can pinch that area out a little bit more, uh, pinch out the top, and that will open it up just slightly and hopefully enough um, so that the openings are the same size. If you find that one of them, or both of them, I guess, are not uh, very close to the same uh, shape or size. What you can do is, for like the larger one, I would take the fettling knife and I would carve into it. I'm not gonna do it with this one. I'll show you what it might look like though. I will, I will just kind of draw on here. I'm gonna draw like a dart. And a dart is essentially like a V shape. I would carve that out with the fettling knife. Okay, I would just cut that clay out push it back together um, so it gets closer to the same uh, opening size as the first piece. So I have essentially scribed these pieces together, which means I've taken off, I've taken off all of the high spots um, so that they fit together really well. Then I'm gonna place them together like this. And I have uh, just drawn on there with my needle tool, a couple little hash marks here. Um, to show where the pieces actually uh, go back together once I uh, score them. So the next part of the process to combine these uh, two pieces of clay together, uh, we can't just like stick them together. Like they, they feel like, you know, they might stay like right now because they're a little, the clay's a little sticky and soft and wet. But you'll notice if I pull them apart real easily, it doesn't take much pressure to do that. So, um, for the sculpture to stay together and this for this to uh, be like an enclosed form it's real important that we score the clay um, and scoring the clay essentially is just adding a lot of texture to an edge so what I that's why I like to use the uh, the fork here so I'm going to take the fork and I'm essentially just roughing up that top edge and I'm uh, using it at a little bit of an angle um, so I'm creating like basically a bunch of X's over on top of one, over on top of one another. Yeah, sure, that sounds right. Okay, so it should look something kind of like this. And I'll do that to the other side. And what this does is it creates a lot more surface area for the clay to meet um, and to be combined. So... If we just basically push these two pieces of clay together and with like our finger or uh, a wooden tool, just smush the clay together, the piece is actually not gonna be joined together very well. Um, it's just basically a superficial um, joinery that you've, you've performed. And it's important to um, go beyond just like the, the surface, which is what superficial means. So um, I have two scored uh, little bowls here. Um, and what I want to do now is uh, wet the top of this. So one thing you might want to do is just take your container of water. I also have uh, just a, a simple little paintbrush here. I could dip it that in my water and just brush a little bit of water onto the top here. You can also, if you hold it firmly like, like you're kind of gripping a basketball, right? Push that down in the water just ever so lightly. Make sure that this is all wet. And I'm going to combine the two pieces, find where my hash marks are, and push them together. 
receive. Like so. Okay. So I'm going to end this and I will make another um, video to accompany this that shows you how to actually um, combine these two together.